Oh, sh**. What are the controls again? Oh, right. Greetings, adventurer. What brings you to these parts? Are you going to the festival in solitude? If you need some coin, I have a quest. I do need some coin. What's the quest? My family hasn't eaten in weeks. We are starving. Could you please make us some pies? You need me to bake some pies? I'm not a baker. I'm an adventurer. You have kids? Yes, I have 10 children. Oh, sh**. If you do this for me, you can choose one of these potions. They've been told to give restorative properties. Ah, oh, I used to be a baker, but I took an arrow to the knee, so I can't cook anymore. But can't you still bit? Fare thee well, adventurer. Good luck. Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to Off the Pie Charts. One of my subscribers recommended that I made a savory pie. What better way to get ready for the fire festival in solitude than to make these festival hand pies? Now, this recipe is in the Skyrim cookbook, which I'll link in the description box below. Let's get started. First, we need to make the storm cloak seasoning. For this, you're gonna need dill, fennel seed, mustard powder, and grains of paradise. What the f is grains of paradise? If you guys know what grains of paradise is, let me know in the comments below. First, we need to crush these seeds, so I like to take the end of my ax and smash them down. For the pie dough, you're going to need flour, salt, our storm cloak seasoning, ice cold water, cubes of butter, and an ax for destroying your enemies. All right, into the flour, you wanna mix the salt, our storm cloak seasoning, and you just wanna give that a little whisk. Then we wanna add butter into flour mixture. And using your hands, like you would any other dough, just mix this together. We're looking for like a coarse breadcrumb consistency. Once you get that consistency, you use just enough water for the dough to start coming together. I've wrapped the dough. Let's put it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. While the dough is chilling, let's make the filling. Okay, for the filling, you're gonna need meat. I went with sprig in here. Once you get underneath the bark, they're actually quite tender. I hate those guys. Garlic, cheese, rice, rice and sour cream. Really upset the farmer over this one. Probably a bounty over my head now. Over medium heat, you wanna melt your butter. And then go ahead and add your garlic. And you just want to brown your garlic a little bit first. Once the garlic's ready, you can add your spriggan, I mean meat of choice. And you're just looking to brown this as well. I'm also going to add some salt and pepper to taste here. At this point, you want to add the rice and the sour cream and mix until it's incorporated. Now you want to take your mixture off the heat and stir in the cheese. We're gonna let those flavors marry for 10 minutes. All right, the dough's chilled, let's roll it out. I wanna add some flour to your surface here. And grab some of your dough. And take your rolling pin. And you wanna get about an eighth inch thick. I'm gonna take my dough cutter here and make some cuts. And I have a cookie sheet here with parchment paper I'm gonna put them on. With the rounds of your dough done, you just put some filling in the middle. And you place one on top. And then you take a fork and you use the tines to just pinch the edges here. For the finishing touch, you brush heavy whipping cream on top. I don't have a brush, so I'm just gonna to try to spoon some on. These go in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes or until golden brown. I think these turned out great. Whether you're burning a king or going on a stroll with some friends, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to bring some of these pies. I think the only thing that we need now is some ale. I'm excited to try one of these little guys.
Mmm. The crust is nice and flaky. Could use a little bit more seasoning on the inside, but I think these are a really good snack. Guys, if you like this video, smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that bell. I make new videos weekly and you won't want to miss it. If there's something you want me to make for you, put it in the comment box below and I'll do my best. Until next time, this is Off the Pie Charts.